So I want you to, today we're going to show you how to construct uh, a triangle using side angle side, angle side angle and what's the last? Side side side, okay? So of course you go to my web page, web page and then click the helpful geometry, go to click, yeah. Angle angle side? We don't have that one. Well, actually you could do that too, but we'll just do those three. Then if we have time we'll do the other one. Yeah, so you may have a quiz or a test on these, so you might want to, but just, I want you to watch, okay? So, of course, go to my webpage, right? And then click on the left side, it says geometry homework underneath. You see the helpful geometry website? Click that, and then click constructions, and you will get to the construction part. And go down here, where it says triangles. Let's start with angle side angle. You see the angle side angle? Yeah. So, click that, and then click full screen. Okay, there you are. All right, now, what you're gonna have is first, okay, let me move this back here. So it's gonna give you three, two angles and a side. Anybody have any idea how you could actually construct this triangle using these two angles and these two side, this one side, by using uh, side angle side? No, angle side angle. So you're given two angles and then include a side. How would you, yes sir? Really? I, I claim to you that, you know those seven constructions that we learned? Using those, you could actually construct a triangle using angle side angle. You see how this is the included side AB? Michelle? <coughs> yeah, basically, Leo, did you want to add something to that? Which construction would be helpful? Here, copying an angle and copying a segment. segment. Do you guys remember that? So combining those two, we could actually construct a triangle using the angles and the side included. Okay, here. First, what we're going to do is put a dot, okay, and then grab the distance from A to B. Guess what I'm, what I'm obtaining, uh, trying to do here? Copy the, segment. Copy the segment. So go down to that A, and then I, you know, put a radius. How, do I, how am I going to get a segment that would have the same length as AB now? Josh, what do you think I'm going to do? That you create a length segment that takes A to the point of angle on that. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere on this arc. Why? Yeah? It's still the same length no matter. Yeah, no matter. That's what, that's what a compass does, right? Like a circle, right? Circle. Radius is all same throughout the whole circle. That's why you get a circle, right? So any place on this arc is going to have the same length as AB. Isn't that right? Yeah. So go next, and then they put a point anywhere on there and then draw a segment. So now I have copied that side. Is that okay? Yeah. That's the included side, right? Now how am I going to copy this angle, A or B? You guys remember? Yeah. Yes? Yeah? Right, you guys, so first we're going to have to use a compass and draw an arc on either A or B. So so here, you, when you do this, make sure the uh, the radius is sort of big enough. Don't make it really small, because it's kind of. And then copy that radius and go to A and draw the same arc. And now you see the distance between these two intersections of the angle. Guess what? I need to copy that exact distance to here, right? Do you know how to do that? Yes. Yeah. Just use your compass to measure that distance and go back down to where you are and intersect, right? And guess what, you, through two points, there's exactly one line. one line, so we could draw a line segment there. Guess what we're gonna do with angle B? Do the same exact thing. So go to the B, use any arc you want. Again, don't use this arc, don't use this radius too small. You know what I mean? It'll be very hard to, to get that distance. Do the same thing, and intersect, and there's your intersection. And that's, there's your triangle. We just use angle side angle to construct this triangle ABC. Does that make sense? Any question? Easy? Okay. So then using the same sort of idea, guess what? We could also do SSS. Okay, let's look at SSS. Uh, actually, before I look at SSS, I want to do uh, yeah, angle side angle first. Okay. We're going to, again, using 
two sides and an included angle to construct a triangle. So guess what we're going to do first, guys? Yeah, draw a congruent segment. So put A there. Guess what? I'm going to copy. Just draw a line, and then they do it a little bit differently this time, but it's okay. You copy the same distance from AB, and guess what? Now we have congruent segment with AB. Are we good? Then guess what? We're going to try to put the angle. Could we put side first? No, because no, you need the ang included angle, right? So we're going to, again, do the same thing as before. Copy that angle, right? And go there, draw that same arc, and try to get that distance, right, with the compass. And then grab the same distance, put down here. And guess what? You now have, and of course you connect, you have the included angle. Am I done? No. no, we have to copy D. Stay. The segment AC. Okay, so let's get the compass and go down here. Copy. And now, all I have to do is what, guys? Connect the, Connect the AB. I mean, BC, I mean. There's your triangle, ABC. Is that okay? Using the two side and included angle. So side, angle, side. <laughs> now, last one is what? Side, side, side. Let's look at side, side, side. Here we go. To do side, 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 or of course you're given three sides, okay? And by the way, what can you tell me about the uh, lo longest side versus the two other sides? If you want to draw a triangle, can somebody, does anybody know? Like, no, not only that, what can you tell me? Some, do you see any sort of relationship between the two sides versus the longest side of a triangle? This is sort of obvious, maybe it's two. What happens if these two are too short? One gets long. No, no, no. If you if you, if you want to draw a triangle, right? Right. If you want to draw a triangle, and then if these two sides are too short, will, will they ever? They won't intersect. They won't intersect. Does that make sense? Is that what you said? Okay, good. Does that make sense? So we have to make sure if you're going to do this, right? Some of these two sides, the shorter sides, must be longer than the the larger side. Is that okay? All right. So of course we're going to copy the segment. Go to the longest, they copy the longest one. Do you have to copy the longest one first? No, no but they, they happen to do that. And we'll just put a point anywhere there, and then now, what are they, what are they doing there? Measuring. Measuring the second side, and go to A, and put an arc. Guess what we're going to do next? Draw another, Draw another, go to BC, and then go to the other side, and connect. Do you see those three, three, do you see those three points? Guess what? You connect. Then guess what you have? What do you have? <coughs> Easy enough? Yeah. Any question? Does that make sense? It does. Alright, good.